Well, there we go. Season's over. Fucking hell, thank fuck for that. The season is finally over. I am put out of my fucking misery. I said at the start of the season we'd finish fifth. I said all season and been abused daily for it that we'd finish fifth. Be careful what you wish for, people have been telling me. Yeah? Well, I didn't wish to finish fifth, but we fucking did. Today, I thought we were brilliant. I thought we were absolute class today. Like we have been for the last eight or nine games. But it's not an eight or nine game season. It's 38 games. And 38 games, we ain't been fucking good enough. We've been the fifth best team in the league over 38 games. You've got Wenger coming out saying, oh, I'll sit down and evaluate where the one point we missed out on top four has been lost. How about sit down and evaluate where the 11 points behind Spurs have been lost and the 18 points behind Chelsea have been lost? Yeah? Not where the one point out of top four has been lost. Do you think I give a fuck about top four? We never compete in it. All we do is get smashed every fucking year in the round of 16. What's the fucking point? You know, t today I thought we had some good performances. I thought every single player was brilliant, apart from the dickhead Koscielny, yeah? Mugged him off in my last video. The geezer is a loser. I don't care what anyone tells me. He ain't world class. I don't give a fuck what anyone says to me. I've been told for years, oh, he's world class. Yeah, it was a world class fuck up today, wasn't it? Which has now cost him a fucking cup final place. Add to that Gabriel being now stretched off in tears with probably knee ligament damage. That's him out the cup final. So we're going with the fucking snail, Murtasaka, who ain't played all season. You know, we're a fucking shambles. This club is a fucking shambles. We've got the manager not bothering to go and do the lap of appreciation because he's a coward. We've got the board not saying fuck all on the manager's position at the club. We've got one shareholder who's not got allowed a place on the board bidding to buy the club and the other one turning it down. We've got fans fighting all season. It's just a fucking shambles. And I'm glad it's over. One more game, cup final, win, lose or fucking draw. Hopefully he is fucking gone. His comments today after the game, um, again, blamed the fans. From one of the interviews I heard today, he's said about the toxic atmosphere after December. Well, you've only got yourself to blame, mate. You pick the players, you pick the tactics, you pick the formations, you, you pick the substitutes. You know, you're not good enough. You're finished. I've said this for years. So have everyone, everyone else that's probably watching this has said that for years. There's a lot of people that still cling on to a little bit of hope that Wenger can be good. People say, oh, he's the quickest way to a title. Fuck off, is he? He's the quickest way to relegation if we fucking carry on with him, that's for sure. I, I'm I'm done. I'm done. Um, I'm so drained with this season. It's boring to watch. Um, you just got idiot fans. Like they slag off anyone that pre Arsene Wenger. Tony Adams is a prime example of that. You know, it's it's just laughable. We're an absolute laughing stock. Um, his interview at the end of the game. I've seen three or four different interviews he's done for three or four different um, channels, and every single one of them. It's great. I love seeing him hurting. I love seeing him uh, well, uh, look, um, uh, looking down and scratching his head. Fuck off, mate. Yeah, I am so glad you are feeling the heat. Because, do you know what? You've ruined football. Yeah, you've ruined Arsenal. Now take your fucking suitcase full of shit and fuck off back to France or Japan, mate. Because you ain't wanted here anymore. Yeah, we're done with you. And I think he knows we're done with him, which is why he's fucking hurting. All season, he's played the game. Oh, well, uh, I'll make my decision. It's not your decision, mate. It's not. And that's why it's not been made. Because it ain't his decision. At the end of the day, I'm actually quite looking forward to Europa League. Because it ends the, the cycle of shit. The same boring, predictable bullshit year in, year out. So I'm actually quite looking forward to it. We can go to places like Albania, Macedonia, fucking Kazakhstan. We're going to fucking look great against these fucking teams and we might actually build up a bit of pedigree in Europe instead of going into the Champions League just for the fucking money. Just so, you know, we can we can earn a few quid that we don't then spend. You know, I've got people telling me all fucking season, yeah, but if you don't get top four, you can't attract world-class players. Somebody put in the comments section down below, name five world-class players that we've signed since we've had Champions League football. And I don't mean that we've made world-class. I mean that a world-class finish article that we've signed and they've been world-class the day we've signed them. 
Not when the day they've left, the day they've signed. There ain't. There ain't any. So don't give me this bollocks about 15, 18, 19, whatever fucking years it is in Champions League. Oh, we're attracting world-class players. We're not. We're not Real Madrid. We're not Bayern Munich. We're not even fucking Chelsea. So all this bollocks about you have to get top four to attract better players. Bollocks. Go and get rid of the likes of Sonogo, Debuchi, Murtasaka, and all the other fucking leeches that are on 60, 70, 80, 90 grand a week. Giroud, another 100 grand a week. Go and get rid of all that fucking shit. Start sorting out the wage structure at Arsenal so your top players are on top money and your shit players are on shit money. Yeah? And then maybe, just maybe, we'll go and pay a player 300 grand a week because he's worth 300 grand a week. Instead, we don't. So I'm glad the season's done. Um, I'm happy we won. Great performance. I thought we were brilliant today. One of the best of the season. So just, you know, too little too late. All you idiots as well that are sitting there fucking praying that relegated Middlesbrough do Liverpool at Anfield, you need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Yeah? Harry Kane has scored more league goals than Middlesbrough this season. And you were hoping Middlesbrough do Liverpool. Do me a fucking favour, will ya? Anyway, that's my rant over. Great win, great performances all around the pitch. Arsene Wenger's still a cunt. Hopefully that's his last fucking game of the season, or league game of the season anyway. Um, and hopefully, well, it is his last league game of the season. Hopefully it's his last league game ever for Arsenal Football Club. He can take half of the shit with him. And hopefully this summer we'll have a little bit of fucking excitement with a new manager coming in and we'll look forward to a nice long run in the Europa League and a little bit of a title challenge. Anyway... Thanks very much for watching. If you ain't subscribed already, please do. Leave your comments down below. Stick a like on the video. You can also follow my Twitter. It's in the description as well. Thanks very much.